Hi, everybody. Luke from Kiss the Cook back here again uh, with another one of our community chats. This week, we're sitting down with Becca from Hunger Free Vermont uh, to talk a little bit about their organization. And we're excited to be doing a donation campaign this weekend, the weekend of June 12th, uh, where we'll donate 10% of our sales from the weekend to Hunger Free Vermont. Thanks for joining us, Becca. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, so why don't we just start with basically what what your organization does, what you're about, and um, and how you came to be. Awesome. Yeah. So Hunger Free Vermont, um, the name is somewhat self-explanatory. We are a statewide anti-hunger advocacy and education organization. Um, we've been around for nearly three decades now um, and really working to um, use the different levers in place, whether it's outreach, um, community organizing, um, policy intervention to address hunger and food insecurity for Vermonters and make sure that really all of our neighbors are um, well nourished and um, able to access food in a dignified way. And uh, what is your role there? What do you do at Hunger Free Vermont? Yeah, um, I manage our child nutrition team. So we have a team of myself and two other really amazing folks who are focused on expanding the reach of school meals and summer meals and different programs that are in place to feed um, kiddos and teens throughout the year. So supporting um, schools and communities in navigating the different rules and regulations of federally funded child nutrition programs, working with amazing community partners to do outreach and make sure that all families with kids are aware of these programs and feel really excited to participate in them. Um, and really just bringing, bringing folks together around addressing hunger in a, in a meaningful and holistic way. What do you think are some of the biggest challenges you face either prior to um, the pandemic or have things, how has how the pandemic kind of changed what, what, how you guys operate and some of the challenges you see? Yeah, there, there are so many ways that the pandemic has impacted our work and really um, laid bare. I think the, the realities that our team and our partners have really known to be true around um, inequities in, in terms of our food system and meaningful access to food. Um, so the pandemic has, of course, impacted a lot of family and household um, finances and put a lot of folks in a position for the first time feeling like they may not have enough money to budget for groceries um, in a given month, or they're not really sure how to navigate this new system of Three Squares Vermont benefits or um, school meals or whatever else. So I would say the pandemic has opened up our work to a whole new audience um, and has really helped us to also see the power of universal programs. Um, because of the pandemic, the last year, year and a half, all schools in Vermont have been able to offer free meals to all kids. Um, and that's huge. That's a vision that we wanna see long-term post pandemic of being able to continue to have that universal equitable access um, and really being able to pilot that because of the pandemic has been um, a little bit of a silver lining of this entire situation. Well, that's good. That's great. What um, Are there other like specific programs that you are particularly proud of or that are unique to Hunger Free Vermont that you guys work on? Um, I'll give a little shout out and some information about one of my favorite programs, um, and that's the Summer Meals Program or Summer Food Service Program. So Hunger Free Br Vermont does not own um, Summer Meals. We don't, um, we don't kind of put that forth in Vermont. It's really um, facilitated by schools and nonprofits and other small community organizations around our state of being able to um, offer free meals um, to all kids 18 and under regardless of income during the summer months. So we're recognizing there are a lot of children who rely on school breakfast and lunch during the school year to give them the nutrients that they need to learn and grow and thrive and summer vacation can leave a gap in access. So being able to offer free breakfast and lunch in conjunction with um, 
day camps that are happening through local rec departments um, at your library or pool or a school that's doing summer programming is um, a really great way of continuing that community um, engagement throughout the year of making sure that kids are um, well nourished and um, setting them up for success when they go back, go back to school in the fall. So summer meals are um, probably my favorite program that I get to work on and do a lot of outreach around. Um, we're getting really excited to kind of gear up for that in the next few weeks and making sure that all families with kids in Vermont know um, where to find those meal programs, feel really excited about bringing their kids there um, and that these these meal sites continue to be a resource for all of us. What are some of the ways, uh, obviously we're excited for our little campaign this weekend. I'm assuming people can donate right on your website, hungerfreevermont.org. Are there other ways people can get involved um, yeah. and support you guys? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, so we're, we're really grateful to Kiss the Cook for having this, this campaign and supporting us um, financially. Um, individuals are also welcome to donate. Um, information is really readily available at hungerfreevt.org. That's our website. Um, but we're always looking for new folks to get kind of called into our work and support it. So um, if uh, donating doesn't feel like a viable option for someone right now, I would really recommend signing up for our e-news, following us on social media and engaging through our communications. Um, we sometimes do volunteer opportunities um, where folks can get city market member hours, which is a nice way of kind of tethering a number of local organizations together. Um, and I would say in, in the framing of summer is coming, being able to empower yourself as a advocate and cheerleader for those summer meal programs that I was just discussing, um, being able to share out information on um, your social media page, pages, whether that's Instagram or Facebook, we'll have, um, we'll have graphics ready to go, being able to also just engage with that kind of program. Um, if you go to a meal site in Burlington or Winooski or Colchester, um, sharing about it and discussing it and helping to really normalize and promote the fact that meals are available for kids is great. Um, we do a lot of outreach, but word of mouth is really, really powerful. So it sounds like a really simple way is for people to engage and just understand not just the challenges that people face, but the resources that are available to those that are, are struggling. What, um, what is something that maybe I didn't ask you about Hunger Free Vermont or about some of the challenges you all are working on uh, that, that I didn't ask that you think is really important that people know? Um, a lot of what I've shared is about um, our child nutrition work because that's my my day to day. But I also want to call out the fact that Hunger Free Vermont, we're really, we're working on hunger um, across age spectrums. And I wanna just take a minute to talk about that. So we have our child nutrition team who are really specializing in the um, growth and expansion of, again, those, those school meals and summer meal programs and after school meals for kids. Um, but we're also looking at how do we, how do we connect folks across um, all walks of life and all ages to um, the food that they, they, that they need and deserve. Um, we have our food security team who are specialists in Three Scores Vermont, which is Vermont's name for the SNAP program, um, which provides folks um, with a monthly benefit to help stretch their food budget and buy more groceries. We do work with the medical community to ensure that doctors and medical providers um, are meaningful advocates for food access and connecting their patients to that work. And we have a really amazing um, group of community members are hunger councils. So across the state of Vermont, we are facilitating 10 regional councils where folks who um, either through their professional or personal lives are really interested in um, addressing hunger and promoting food access come together on a regular basis to um, 
share challenges and successes, to build some common language and learning and understanding and really create these working groups. Um, so that's actually another way that folks can engage if you're interested in joining your local hunger council. Um, those all have been meeting over Zoom because of the pandemic, so it's easier than ever to um, hold space with like-minded folks who are interested in really making sure that our neighbors um, all have food and nutrition. And again, is there more information on that on how to get engaged in that on, on your website? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I would say hungerfreevt.org is your landing page for any and all um, Hunger Free Vermont programs and resources. And um, if you email literally any staff member, we will be able to connect to you. <laughs> Great. Well, I want to thank you, Becca, for not just taking the time today to talk to us, but for all the, the great work you and Hunger Free Vermont are doing. We, we really appreciate it. And we look forward to working with you, not just this weekend, but in the future again. Awesome. Thank you so Great. much, Luke. Thank you.